It doesn't match your current available orbs. Yeah. Which is just funny. Okay. First things first, we craft them all. Boom. Okay. Let me just triple check. There's three damage to any target. And sorcery spells you had like link. Okay. So this is an exile card. Adventures are exile cards. Okay. Um one more creatures. Create a treasure. So this is a single treasure. But it still is in that exile card. This does exile things. I do not think it's worth it. I straight up just don't think sword is worth it. Destroy target, non-land permanent, its controller creates. I'm just control with haste. You can play a land from exile or cast a spell from exile. The top two cards of your library. You can play those cards this turn. Sacrifice another creature. Yeah, I mean this this is straight up the strongest card in the deck, for sure. So I think these make a decent core. I like the idea of using this. So it's just gonna with lifelink. It is a bit of a small fry, which could be an issue. You're rocking twenty-two lands. This is not uh, this is not enough for twenty-two. 2.4 average, yeah. Because the thing is, you, you want to be playing the adventure cards. You want to be able to consistently play this. This is this is easily your best card. Um, and you're actually fine with having... So a deck like this is fine with having access to more mana because you are going to be playing these cards that are exiling the top card, but they cost mana to do so, right? So if I cast Rob the Archives and I only have two mana left, the chances I'm going to be able to use... Uh, I assume the treasures uh, could make up for lacking lands. Well, you're only getting treasures from this. And this is only a three of. I just had to make sure that's the only place we're getting treasures from. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not... It's not... The treasures aren't going to do nearly as much um, as just having a higher land count. Uh, but also, right... Like, if you're, if you're playing this for two mana, right... With this, you're you're with twenty two lands. You're probably going to top out frequently. I mean, frequently on three, but four four is where you can kind of see like the ideal, right? But then you are, you're only being able to cast one of those. So even like using the casualty in this situation is not worth it, right? Um, because you're 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 going to get more looks, sure, but I'm not sure it's going to matter as much. Obviously, Pia works really nice with Robbie Archives because you're sacrificing that thought there but you don't care because you're getting more of these cards. But I, I do think that you want a full a full 24 in a deck like this. Um, this is Menace. Things fly. This still has potential. I'm not so sure that I'm going to eat it right yet. Um, I personally don't like Blazing Crescendo here. You do have the instant speed... Yeah, you do have the instant speed factor. But let's see. So we're going to do not collected. Um, and we're going to call this uh, Blaze Venture. Blaze Venture. Um, so let's, let's look up things that have adventure. Creature tokens you control. Is the number of creatures control. So this is a card that is possibly worth including, even though it's green. Right? The green, it's only a single green. We can we can just splash for the. Uh, I was gonna say we can we can just splash like it's nothing. I forgot standard standard mana bases aren't the best. Um, but this does work really nicely with the the creature tokens that this makes, that this makes, uh, and that this makes. Right? 
So there's actually some reasonable reasonable thing here to use that. Um, could your opponent's control get minus? I don't think that's nearly as good. Um, this gets to draw a card, but again, I'm not entirely sure that matters. Um, Mend the Wilds is quite nice for a deck like this because you can manipulate the card that you're going to exile. Uh, so, you know, if you, if you like, Blazing Cashrendo, for example, um, you can put something, you know, one of your other creatures on top. Maybe your, maybe your Duelist died, right? Um, and then you get to cast it, like, again. But I don't think, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, this is definitely not necessary. I don't think we need this. To any other target than sack it. Don't love that. Three wall encounters among any target creatures control. We control a creature with four or greater against double strike. Um, stolen goods is not terrible. Great two rats. This is actually potentially just straight up fine in this deck. Because, right, like, what like what are we doing, right? We're playing... So we have we have uh, f a couple of things, right? We have instant sorceries that can gain us life, right? We've got playthings from exile. And technically, these two cards as well, we have make tokens, right? Um, and this, this card does work with all but the life ones. For what it's worth, I still might end up keeping Heartland Duelist. I'm just not sure. Because um, I, I am taking this deck into a slightly different direction. Um, no. It's cost five to... No, that's not good enough. Uh, nope. Nope. Yeah, now we're getting to the things that cost a little bit more. So this is another off-color adventure card that is that has potential, right? Because this is another it's another card that gives you treasure, right? And it's a card that also like you can cast it from exile, but you also can just cast um, you can use the expensive taste. So this is another card that has legitimate potential in a deck like this. Um, whenever sorcery control deals non non combat damage to an opponent, you may exile that many cards from the top of your library. Look at those cards this turn. This is another one, but I'm not sure because you know these things. These things kind of are. They they have a lot of overlap between them, right? But I'm just trying to figure out. You know what? What's the how, what's the best way we overlap, right? Virtue of loyalty works very nicely with all of your creature tokens, right? Um, you know, you're 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 playing with these, you're playing with this for sure. Like these are the cards that are absolutely in here. Um, so this does work nicely when you can get it down. Um, but then the virtue of courage, right? You have that two mana two damage, which might honestly, this might be worth running just for that, right? Sure, it's not Lightning Strike, but it it has extra play. Um, and this is another card that's like off color. I, I'm, this one is not nearly as good as the other ones uh, because it is base green. Whereas, uh, where are you? Whereas this has just a little bit extra green somewhere, right? Yeah, like, if you play Pia Nalar on turn two, and you're able to... Card creature you control gains vigilance. Or actually, any creature you control. Yeah, I mean, you can even just give her that plus one, plus one in vigilance. And then you cast this from adventure, triggering Pia to give you a one, one. It has haste. She's a three, four... Yeah, like, I mean, even that, I think, is pretty reasonable. Did 
This has potential. I don't know how slow we're going to make the deck. For what it's worth, I am, I am taking this into a less aggressive direction. But I think I think that's worth doing because Pia Nalar here, right? You might be saying, oh, the Thopters, the Thopters are making this a more aggressive card. I'm looking at this, right? I'm looking at Pia Nalar and the fact that you want to be playing these adventures. And I'm thinking, I get to generate way more value than my opponent does. So, so what I'm thinking here is more of a hybrid, uh, a, a hybrid style deck where we're able to nickel and dime them with these tokens we're making. We get to double up on our cards because they have adventure and we'll be playing theoretically some nice reach in terms of burn. So, you know, I, I think, I think there is potential value in this card. Um, it comes at taps, which is the problem. Um... I don't think there are going to be any barking cards that I'm going to want to run. I think that, I think that throws too many cooks in the kitchen. Um, from okay, what what does this say? It's on top card. Let me play that card. Middle top. Yep. Let me play that card. I am going to. I can use quotes, right? Yes, okay. Oh. Whoops. You may play. So sometimes they say that. And some of them will say those. So I think I think it's just you may play. And that hopefully will get me most of the things that I care about. from your graveyard. This is specifically from Exile. Yes. Okay. This this theoretically like works, but it's not is not what we're looking for. It's not our tempo. <laughs> when this enters the battlefield, enters or leads. Okay. Okay. So this is this is an interesting card. Because this one also makes a token. And it has it has double the the exile, so this definitely has potential. This one also has some potential. Put your counter on this, then you may sacrifice it if you do exile the top X cards of your library with access to the number. Skew counters. Yeah, if we were going for a more aggressive route, I think this might be fine. But I don't think so. This is on dies. Uh, this dealt damage. I don't have many cards. I don't think that's worth it because we don't get to control things as much. This is only spell, so that's more in the spell damage version. Reckless Impulse. Oh wait, this is the same as Reckless Impulse, isn't it? These are the top two cards of your library. These are the top two cards of your library. Until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. Until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. Alright, these are functionally identical. You might do stupid stuff with that. Keyword might. We don't need that. After seeing, honestly, after seeing Nahiri's Warcrafting, I don't hate this. I don't hate this as a piece of removal, especially if we're playing Heartflame Duelist. Because we're gaining five life on that. Right, so that's another one that has, what do the kids say? Uh, potential. That's sushi technically does as well, but I don't think I want. Interesting. Warcrafting is one of Mono Red's number one answers to Shield Red. That makes sense. Yeah. Urbrask. Yeah, Urbrask at, like, I don't, 
that that's why I shoved um dragon uh, virtue and then these two into the sideboard immediately where I put Nahiri into the main deck immediately is because this is a lot easier to put in because of the fact that it still it still gives us that um that value in the early game sorry I, I realized that was not quite clear this is red, white, and loser. No. Okay. So I think for now that's fine with the cards that we want to be potentially running. Let's look at the lands. Um, single Ganjo, generally fine. Um, since we are potentially playing the tokens, I think Sokenzen is fine. A Sokenzen, for what it's worth. We're on red white. There's easily a historic version of this deck that plays more adventures like Bone Crusher. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bone Crusher, I mean Bone Crusher is just by itself stupid. Um, we definitely want four forges. I think we're fine playing four sundown passes. This deck is not gonna have too many single things. Okay. So now I have to make the decision of am I going to try to ever cast the adventure side of this? I don't think we're ever using that. Um, don't think we need this. And the other one is Decadent Dragon. These are the two potential off-color cards. Black and green. I mean, the adventure side's what important for the exile triggers? No, I know. But we're probably going to be having a lot of creature tokens anyway. And this does make treasure. Um, so there's red, green, green white. But we don't have we don't have red black white i think that's probably fine i think it's reasonable to run four jetmere's gardens add where you start explaining yeah isn't that fun isn't isn't it great yeah, i think because of that i'll have the hair but not the dragon um, and then I think I'm fine having all I'm hearing about is Jersey Mike's. Yo, I could use a sandwich. Okay. This is the only thing. Press those. First things first, craft all stuff. I'm going to keep looking at this garbage. Want. Let's do these for sure. This is only going to be four cards. It might even be three. Um, so I think I only need maybe 12. If we end up still playing the Duelist, I think having... I think having the Painlands aren't terrible. This just allows me to never have a land come in tapped. So this is 14. Yeah. No, it's not. You dumbass, it's dead. That's a 12. Yeah. 
it definitely decreased our basics count. I'm gonna try it like this. Okay. okay. We're being chilling with that. This, in my opinion, is the core of the deck. We have burn situation here. I'm, I'm essentially trying to make this a core of the deck. I... God, this just destroys anything, which is really nice. This just destroys anything, which is really nice. I'm gonna eat it for now. But do not get me wrong, I do not take pleasure in eating it. Okay, so you go off over here. Do I still want Rat? Rat is a very cheap card that I can cast from Adventure. But I think I would rather have Rat. I know I'm, like, completely decimating your boy. What have we done with my child? Uh, Lightning Strike, let's take that down a notch. And actually, I do want to try... Virtue of Courage. It's just kind of an additional burn spell. So I think I'm actually going to do this. This. I do want three of those. Let's try three of those as well. So essentially what I'm kind of doing here is increasing the amount of um, adventure cards as opposed to these. Because adventures you in, uh, inherently get I don't, I don't like Blazing Catrendo. I like Rob the Archives now to the end of your next turn. This, these two things are fundamentally the same. I kind of want to do that. It would be great to have a, um... No. I think it was right. No. That didn't. The spike. I would love a volcanic spite that... That lets you get cards from exile. So what I mean by that is instead of drawing a card, I get two cards, right, from Exile. Um, the reason I say two instead of one is because that kind of impulsy draw is not nearly as good as just drawing a card. <laughs> um, generally. So that would be cool, but alas, it's not meant to be. Four. I guess we have to keep this at three. This is four of these. These can be cycled. All right, I think, I think this is the base I'm gonna work with. I'm gonna make sure we're still on 
arena music because I don't w I want to be able to upload this to YouTube. Okay. Okay. Let us try this. Please venture. I mean, I, I massacred your dick. Um, the mouse, honestly, was one of the cards that I was least sure about cutting. That and the, the three-drop removal spell. Those two cards, I think, are legitimately, uh, like, good choices. But I was trying to play up some of the things. And I might find that aspects of the deck aren't aren't working as well. Um, and then I have to decide, like, do I want to remove that aspect, etc., etc. Um, so this hand is fine. Yeah, it actually has the situation I was talking about before. Where I can play this on turn two and then on turn three. I can use this and cast this. So play garden here. I'm going to be taking damage, but whatever. I have this potentially. Cool. Let's go ahead and play the forge. Play this, we will take some damage. That's fine. Okay, they're on Sultai. Probably some sort of mid range control. That is unfortunate. Blue light game storm, alright. Hmm. Oh, this is Salt Eye Self Mill again. I think we just kill that with Duelist. Yeah, I think we just kill that with Duelist. And I'm just going to do it now so they don't get to have the untap. So we don't have a chance to use the mana. Spell here. Probably. I think we just play red cap. No cap, I think we play red cap. Okay. They didn't use two of their mana. We'd like to see it. Rude, but fine. Hmm, virtue of Courage, you say? So we can murder this. And just play Fallen Shield. Part of me does actually want to use... Until the end of your next turn. Yeah, I don't actually want Rob the Archives here. I think I want Reckless Impulse here to try and get a land. I didn't get a land, but I can play them on a subsequent turn. Um, do they have anything that's frightening? No. Uh, I guess they can use this to draw a card and discard a card, and I would rather them. I'd rather they didn't. So I think I'm fine just doing this. Once again, I'm going to lose a life. I don't care. And again, we, we do that so they can't loot. This they're a while away from. This is the relatively away from. This is the second time I've seen this deck. Let's see what this X gold. I won't let you fall. Sure. Um, I get to kill you potentially. Jk. Does this get trampled? It does not. 
Attack me, coward. Okay, we do have a land. Okay. So I can't make these two twos. That will cost me two mana. I think we play... I think we just play Facebreaker and the hair. Yeah. They still don't have anything super frightening. Do I care about Tethar? I don't care about Tyra this turn. Yeah, I just want to hit them in the face. I'm fine with that double block. Especially if they end up using their turn to draw a card and stuff. I'm fine with that. It also gives me a treasure. This just allows me to do even better things next turn. This is now larger. So they could do that for Exumus 2. Mm -hmm. That's a card that exists. Which is one of the reasons why we're playing the Heroes Warcraft thing. I'm, I honestly think we're, we're playing three of these damn things. Drawing second is incorrect. This could have cost them less. They end up discarding a creature here. Yeah, so that was just objectively bad. They could have had one more mana here. Untap the creature, that's fine. Oh yeah, if they were going to do that as well. That second wind? Yeah, that's that's strange to me. Interesting. Okay. I'm picking up what I'm putting down. So we have six mana here. We definitely want to use this. Um, I think what we do here is we use the pest problem. We use pest problem. We make some rats. Then we can pollen hair on professional face breaker. Because now it becomes spooky scary. I totally forgot it has vigilance. And then I think we play another one of these. When this goes face, I get to kill both of these. And I'll threaten Tyvar. Like, I don't care if this dies. I do not want my pollen shield hair to die. Okay, they wanted to take half their life. That's fine. I guess they can turn it into a Lurgoyf. Although I still have blockers for this one. I don't know. I don't know. Threat seven. Don't be trouble, You're making me look bad. We're in this together. Should we bring Lord Wife back? That's fine. Another one of those. Totally forget about that shit. People seem to like this deck. Jameer's Garden. 
not what I want. Don't want a casualty here. Two cards. Do I use the casualty here? One, two, three, four mana. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. We have two four fours in the air. No attacks. I honestly, if I was them, I would have just cycled the card. I just got it rid of it. That's kind of a strange decision as well. I think they should have just gotten two four from this. Oh, they made this smaller. It's good. This is five guaranteed. I'm at 11. They're dead on the crack back. Yeah. I, I have all of their stuff in view. They're guaranteed taking four damage. So let me just triple check here. This is 10, 14. I will go to two. I'm fine with going to two. I guess uh, I guess math is for blockers, but uh, they didn't count for this. Uh, I will just attack. Good game. Um, that was harrowing. They, they, Frank, they should not have swung out there. Um, playing benevolent geist, I guess, is whatever uh, for the disturb. Personally, I, I still would have, at end of my turn, just yeeted a card. Um, because, like, no matter what it is, if it's a creature, this it makes this bigger. If it's not a creature, you probably didn't want to draw it anyway. Um, like, unless it's, like, specifically Tyvar. Uh, and then you just use your four mana that you guaranteed have to make these four fours to hit me to eight and just put me on a two-turn clock, right? Like, I, I can't... On board, I can't do anything about that. So, I, I I think I think my opponent did a did a me, where they went in on the weeds too much. Okay. I like the deck. Yes, I like the deck. If I were to change anything, it'd probably be to try to fit another Nahiri's Warcrafting in. And the way I do that is probably that into this. Are there adventures that exile graveyards? Uh, can I do double? Can I double up on the O's? Uh, 
Uh, no, it doesn't do that. No. No. I mean, honestly, this could be a funny tech. But you'd have to do stupid things with your mana, so probably not. You know, it doesn't look like there's a bunch. Like, theoretically, you could have this, but again, your mana base would be weird. Yeah, it's kind of lame that there's not one. Assault that deck is very interesting. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's what it is. Alright, cool. Slash marker. Blaze. Blaze Venture. Alright, swipe. Next up, we have the... Wait, where'd he go? Oh, right, he's a creature now. We have the... Oh, this is right, this is the Hilda version. This is not the Will, Will Storm. Uh, more. Uh, export. Arena. Import? I always have to kind of remember that. Let's, let's load up in. First things first, we craft all. Alright. Let's see what we're doing here. So, the deck... I thought this deck was focused on Hilda. Freeze your under arrest. Whenever you tap an untapped creature and opponent controls, you may pay one when you do choose one. Sick. Okay. Ray, tap that creature opponent controls and put a stun counter on. Whenever you tap one or more untapped creatures, your opponent controls draw a card. This ability only triggers once each turn. Okay. Wandering Umper kills things that are tapped. Okay, okay. You do love to see the already added things. Okay. This ability costs one less to activate during your turn. Okay, so it's free to activate on your turn. Interesting. Contract spell, tag plus two creatures. Okay, reasonable, reasonable. If you're combat in your turn, choose one, tap a creature, target creatures, run tap dragons, control second attack step. Another reasonable card. One of those attacks you may pay two when you do tap target creature and opponent can. It's still magic music, apparently. Um Tap target creature and opponent controls. When you tap an untapped creature and opponent controls, this gets plus two plus one until end of turn. And it has vigilance. That's I see why this is a four of. Stall for time. Tap two. Tap up to two target creatures. If the spells kick, put stun counters on each of them. Draw a card. Interesting. Okay. Tap target creature and opponent controls. Put three stun counters. Okay. You get the scribe two. This card seems good. Uh, tap target creature to another tap. You may pay one if you do scry, then draw. Okay. Up to one target creature, scry one, then draw. This target tap creature, the spell was kicked, scry two. Okay. Tap target permanent. Okay. Okay. So, I love the four of Ice Rod Sentry. This is a repeatable way of tapping. Same with the Geist. Do I want this as more? Because this, again, is another way of repeatedly tapping something. Because we get value from having our opponent's things be tapped. In that we can destroy them. Or we get these values. Destroy them. Or get these values. Um. I'd like to see this at least a 30. How many lands is this? 24? Thank you. 24 is somewhere in the vicinity of correct. The I would say 25, but the amount of scry and draw we have is probably going to be fine. The 
Chalice was kicked. So you always get to draw a card. Okay. Bitter Chill. Freezing Place. Plunge into water. This only taps a single creature. It is instant. Personally, this does it for longer. But I think for now I'm going to do that. Um, this is a creature that can kill my opponent, right? Like... I guess these two are the main ways we kill the opponent. This just kind of nickel and dimes, and I'm not sure I care. This taps permanence. This is destroy tapped creature. This is destroy tapped creature, yeah. Uh, this is the first card I'm not sure about. I want in this deck the blue-white creature land. These motherfuckers didn't make blue-white ones, did they? They only made the odd colors. Wait, wizards? Um, fucking stop! God <laughs> dang it. Uh, well, I would have liked a creature land. That's just not what we're getting today. Triple check. And I'm still... Yep, I'm still alive. Cool. That is frustrating. Alright. That is legitimately annoying. This is attacking or blocking? Yes. Okay. These are both three drops. So we get to that point. Hilda does stupid things. I want to see Hilda more frequently. I'm fine with Sheree being less frequent, because all, all she does is draw a card when you tap a thing. This gets to do stupid shit. You tap an untapped creature and opponent controls. I'm actually going to put this to one and put her to four. I want to see this every single game. Technically, Geist into Sheree is better than Geist into Hilda. Uh, Ice Rock Sentry, Sentry into whatever doesn't matter because we have to pay mana to do it anyway. Although, hmm, I guess Sentry into... Sentry into Sheree is also good because it attacks as a 4-4 that turn. Ugh, fine. And that's fine then. Um, so you heat things... All for time. Two of them potentially. Oof. I. I want some looting cards. I think Rona actually might be reasonable in this. She's a 1-3, which is a reasonable locker early on. S in the chats for Celestial Colonnade. Jesus Christ, I don't want to see that in standard. I just wanted any creature land. Um yeah, this is this is repeatable looting in case we're going against a control deck. And it also turns into this nonsense. Again, in case we're going against a control deck. So I think that's reasonable potentially as a two of. 
And again, it's just because if we come up against a deck that is not a creature deck, that can be an issue. Yeah, I think I think that's fine. So now we have 14 creatures as opposed to not 14. I guess I guess we did get rid of network disruptor. Um, but we added one of these. So this was a two, then we had three, that was five. I added an additional one of these. No, it's, it should be the same, actually. Um, Doctor. Three. Three is cool. That's right. I put F's in chat for Celestia to call a new, but we're still waiting for that to be printed. It's true. I hate when wizards... I really hate when wizards doesn't uh, doesn't do full cycle, especially when they're lands. Because like this set has all ten of the color, the two color combinations, but we only got creature lands for the non ones, and that's annoying. But Justin, that's more rare lands that have to go to creature lands. I don't care. Print a set with more lands, or hear me out. Keep the creature lands the same power level. Just make them uncommons. Okay, that that might be too good. Dude. Were there other were there other multicolor lands in this set? Also, drink full gallery. No, it was just those. Okay, well, it's MTG Malone. I think again, perhaps. We got turn two and a turn three, yeah, we're fine. We got turn three into turn four, actually, which is quite nice. Uh, what am I playing? Ooh! I'm playing the bivouac. This is sorcery. It's so whatever, it's fine. Are you playing my card, my, my deck, sir? Uh, goodbye, Shirai. Interesting. You're playing green as well. Oh, okay. This is just my deck. And by my deck, I mean not my deck. Um, Battles also... Yeah, that's true. You've got to be kidding me. This is going to fucking suck when I double block and get blown out. God damn it.
need to be able to play this next turn so I can get rid of this. Did they get to use that again? Jesus Christ. This is nuts. Because they get to just play the hair next turn. And they're going to have a 2-2. So even if I tap this, fuck me, dude. Is they, they just play the they just play the hair here. Bro. We fought against Malone, right? With the with the version of that deck. We took the deck and made it better. <laughs> That's a fucking sorcery. That's any- Oh, fuck me in the ass. That's, this is, this is ugly. Wow. They had this on turn two. They went, f they went first, yeah. Might as well give them a counter. Yeah. That, this sucks. There's not even a reason to play this. Because it just dies. I think we have to... But I can't scry. Like, I need to play... I'm boned! I'm I'm dead! I'm fucking dead. This is just a better version of the deck I played. Well, for what it's worth, they, they had a stupid hand. Like a stupid draw, I mean. They played Pia into Invasion. Had had specifically this this card, dude. Like, how am I supposed to expect this? That's really crazy. Yeah, I. That that deck is gross. Disgusting. Um, also, there's a few cards in the set that lower cost depending on the number of attacking creatures, and they're pretty solid, actually. That's the lesson? Okay. Yeah. I feel like... Man, I feel like I still needed to... They don't ever... The, the issue is they don't ever make an attack without that anyway. Oh, man.
Uh, we can keep this. It's not the best. I think next turn we're probably going to hold up Urza's rebuff. Into the Water Emperor? I guess if they play a creature. I guess if they play a creature, maybe I play the Geist instead. If she was Geist, dies to fucking everything. Maybe they don't. That's fine, I suppose. Yeah, we just play... We waste here. We pass. We probably counter whatever they have. Yeah. And then on turn four, we cast Emperor, making a creature probably. Then on turn five, we tap a thing and kill it with Emperor, potentially. I do wish we had a different thing that had flesh or was instant. We'll just counter that. A lot of people are saying Jund, uh, Jund is busted. That Sultai self mill deck is also quite interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I do think we still pass here. We still bluff a counterspell. But we do straight up just have the Wandering Emperor. And I do think that I make a dude. Which control. That's actually fine. Because I need to have a large creature for that. This is fine. I'm actually not going to make a soldier here. I think I'm going to plus here to, to have a more like to keep this around. To lose. Remember okay. your training. Then here, I think we actually play. Yeah, I think we play Rona and Bitter Chill. No. No, we play Bitter Chill first. This taps it, right? Yeah, okay. We, play we do this. We tap it. We exile this. We pay the one for it. You are not much of a roadblock. We keep that on top. Now we play Rona. With S9 Antics as part of the core? I doubt it. I mean, there's potential. Cut down, that's fine. We actually didn't need Rona anymore. Ooh, that is... That is unfortunate. Well, that's not great. That's no good. I guess. Can I put a 1-1 one, one counter on this? Probably I not correct. I have got new moves to teach you. 
but yeah, that hideaway is nuts. That's crazy. I mean, especially since they had the second shakedown heavy. That is unfortunate. I think I let Wondering Emperor die. I'll be back. This destroys the thing, which is not exactly what we want. They can just keep getting it back. draw a card. I need to draw land, sorry. I didn't draw land. And I tapped a certain way. That's unfortunate. So I can only kill one of them. Okay, I do have potential of drawing another white source here. I didn't. I want both of these, though. I'm never blocking with this card. I need it too much. Another hideaway. Jeebless crisp. I mean, that's, that's an insane series of fight rigging. But I assume they built their deck around that. We're just going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> slash marker frost here. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can do anything further with that. I think, I think the deck is just... Too, unfortunately, too cute for the things that people are doing even even right now first things first we craft all okay so you said this is will storm especially cast this turn that are white and or blue, cost X less to cast, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. Oh, I see. Life that I gain this turn.
Okay. 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 I see. This is the only one I'm not sure about. By the way, Malone gave me the uh, his deck list, so that's pretty swag. Prophetic Prism. Draw some cards. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely picking up what you're putting down. Put your hand. I'm not sure I love the farm. Four. 24 might not be enough, to be honest. I actually don't think Defiler does what you want it to. I guess maybe it does. Because you get to, like, cast these things for free. No, it's only, it's only permanence. So it's like only that. I guess I guess it does include static net. I'm gonna knock this to two and put this to f two. I think I know what you're trying to do with these. I'm not sure that I agree with it. I can see why you do this. The issue is that I don't think you're going to be activating Coven very frequently. Like part of me would rather just have lifelink. Like, even if it's missionary here. Oh, actually, mandible. Mandible just this year has a lot of promise because we theoret theoretically are going to be cycling through a lot of things. Like this have a decent number of artifacts. So I kind of like this. I kind of like this. YouTube. Okay, it's still playing. Plus one life from the lands is a nifty trick if Will is down. But if he isn't, then you'd likely be better off just having an untapped land that can pay one more rather than reduced by one. Well, these gain you life. So this is very similar. So that's that's why I said I can kind of see what's what's being done here. I could actually add a single swamp. This is almost never gonna matter, but it could sometimes. I'm I am okay with this deck having four ish tap lands. I think I want to eat this. I will put that up. I will grab at least one swamp. 
The Ganjo's still helpful. Uduwara's still helpful. Um, I don't think I want Tranquil Cove. We're going to be gaining life, so we don't mind this. We generally are not going to care about that. Um, and there, there's a small argument to be made for actually playing a couple of Rafine's Towers. But that might be too many um, tapped lands because of Tranquil Cove. Cove enters. We gain one life. So just, just so people are aware what uh, Surge mean, means here. Um, if, I'm, if I play Tranquil Cove, right? It comes in tapped, I gain a life. So I can't use that mana immediately. However, if I activate Will... Uh, what I'm able to do is I make my white and blue spells cost one uh, a colorless less to cast. So it's as if I have that extra mana, but for all of the, the spells. Um, notably, I'm realizing the spells need to be white or blue, so these don't actually become free. I don't think I want Tempting Apple here. I'm going to lower Static Net by one, up the Teferi again. Yeah, because Teferi... Teferi straight up is just really strong after Will. I can now see the point of Defiler of Faith more. I don't remember the other Defiler. This one draws you a card though, which is nice. The issue is that this doesn't have very many blue permanents. Um, so yeah, I need, I need permanents. So we're looking at That would be great if I could do type not equal to instant or sorcery. That'd be fantastic. Because I don't want to have to put artifact, creature, blah, 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 because it still isn't necessarily going to give me what I want. Because what I, what I want are permanents that have ETBs. Mostly that draw me cards. So let's say... She's up to one target artifact, up to one target creature, and up to one target land. Okay. So let's say we play Will. We tap it. Or, er, er, following turn. We play Teferi. So we have that four, the four lands. We play, we have Will out. We tap him once, tap him twice next to Teferi. We gain an additional, actually, what does this say? Fated or Trigger ability. So I could theoretically copy that, but I wouldn't have the mana necessarily. Um, but okay, this deck is this deck is kind of interesting, mostly because it's confusing. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Um, do this again. I still only have the one color of mana. And I wouldn't be able to play specifically Defiler of Faith, which is what would help me 
to play these. Okay. Are there two mana rocks in this format? I can't even I can't even do that. I have to just have add mana. This is only for angel spells. It's kind of interesting. Oh Jesus. Everything's fine. Play disturbed orcas into sorceries. I would require adding green, which is not the best idea. This is specifically artifact spells, which, you know, technically fine. There's you, but you're not a color. Yeah, the main thing is having them be a color makes it easier to continue doing cool stuff with. Are you a human? You are a human. You're not a human. You are a human. You are a human. You're definitely not a human. Are you a human? No, you're a samurai. There are a lot of very strange moving parts here. Oh, God damn it! Stop it. I'm going to cut this to two. That brings me to eight of these. I want exactly one swamp. This is 33. We need to cut nine lands. So there are definitely reasons we would want to have things like the scry in the in the draw. Go away. You stupid emails. This unfortunately is not white unless you are paying white for it, making it 3-3. So I think this is one of the situations where I actually don't want this card. This can be helpful. I think we're fine with the filer just not existing, really. Knowing what I know now, I actually think I want more Overseer. This removal. Yeah, this is this is difficult because of how many potential moving parts there are. I'll have to play with it to see what I'm missing.
Duolingo, shut up. I'll do it when I'm looking to find. Hey, it's Seth. Probably better known as Seth or no. Hello. Then Prism, then Overseer, then Overseer. <laughs> We should be playing this card. There's no shot Saffron's playing the deck I'm playing right now. We absolutely should be running this card, by the way. There's no shot he's playing a will, a will deck right now. So I'm gonna go to the stream just to see if he's playing a, a will deck. Obviously, don't like stream snipe for me. I just want to know if he's if if he's well. I guess technically it's stream sniping. He's playing a will deck. He's playing the same deck I'm playing. Though he does have green and... Well, at least green. Which honestly might, might be better. I don't know. That certainly gets the odds time. I don't. Does he do against the odds when it's um when it's early access? I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so either. We need a JC emote. That's essentially the Spider-Man meme. We need the the J Spider-Man meme emote. Um, I'm probably gonna play Will next turn and see how it goes. Yeah, so I think I play Will, I play Candy Trail. That way I can reduce things by three for only two mana. No blocks. Invasion of Zelfir is a white blue X spell, creates guys nice, equal to life gain this turn. Don't counter me, bro. Don't counter me. We do this, we scry. Yeah, I'm actually fine with this this exact order. I need Will to survive. If Will doesn't survive, that's okay. Um, I do. Pl I would be playing Elishnorn, I think. Also, kind of bare ass, as it were. And then on a subsequent turn, I would be playing a kicked Phyrexian human. No land, just a premise? Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. We can work with that. I'm not blocking with this. I might as well attack here. I think this will have to be the last deck for this stream. Just because I do need to consume some food. And I'm sure as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm going to be- I'm going to feel starving. I don't feel hungry right now. Leave my will alone, please. Pretty please. Okay. This is absolutely a will deck. I just need my will to stay alive. Until I can use it. 
So we, we can theoretically do cool things. I'm mean, gonna guess this is an island. So that's thinking very hard here. Another forest, okay. No, leave my will alone! You ossified me, you monster. I love that we're playing the same deck. <laughs> okay. We we straight up just play Elishorn here. We just force him to have another another removal spell, I think. Yeah, that straight up doesn't work. Which is pretty swagtastic, IMHO. Um, this hits any permanent, right? Per permanent, yeah. I didn't play a land this turn, so I think we do this. To hope to draw a land and a static net. That ain't it, Chief. Um... I think we just... I would have rather them just killed this, because I could have still done that. Well, we did get a land. So we'll play the candy trail. like get the double scry. And six. I'm fine with that. And then... Am I fine with having this? Do I attack here? It's risky. I don't think there's anything that's going to matter. Not for one mana, at least. Um, it's very possible we're going to have our Elishnorn get bounced. This ends today. You live because ah, okay. I allow it. That's annoying. Graveyard to hand, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six mana. Six mana. I get to kill this, which is nice. This is a bit annoying. This only draws me a single card. Yeah, 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 I got it. Need a way to get rid of that. Maybe they're not playing Will. Maybe they're just playing a control deck. <laughs> um, dang it. Okay, I know I'm attacking here. We'll regroup elsewhere. It's only four to do. I think we play Celestis. Yeah, we play Celestis into Missionary, I think. We grab Nord back. Three, six, seven. I guess I would have liked that one uh, an untapped land here, but if I have another land that can Elish Nord into Inspiring Overseer to get more value. They get to draw two cards? Sure. They have four mana. Jeez, okay. Yeah, so this is just a this is just a Bant ETB deck. 
Nothing, nothing cool, nothing interesting. I'm here trying to play Will. I'm playing against the odds right now. It's a fairy. This is a two mana rebate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Play this using this mana. I get to untap and tap that. Do this, add a white, do this. Artifact. Target this. Target you. Target you. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So I can just raw play Elish Norn again. Or I can play Defiler here. I will attack. I want attack. No attacks. You play Defiler first. Because next turn, we'll theoretically be able to play both of these at the same time. So we can get more value there. Opponent has four cards. Because this this is a this is a, a fight for value. And while my opponent has this. The value is going to be hard to come by. I think a Will Historic Brawl deck would be pretty interesting. What the f*** is this, man? Well, that is unfortunate. Oh my god, this has the Crater Hoof in it. This deck absolutely has the Crater Hoof in it. 100%. Okay. So they're doing this while they still can. They get to exile two of my things. I assume the missionary and the defiler. One, two, sell three now. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do this while I can. Then my deck more get more mana to work with. Notably, uh... Wait, what? What? What the fuck happened?
were, th were those two different selections that the game counted as one? Or... I don't fucking know what happened there. I'm very annoyed. I should have another lamb. I'm not sure it's going to matter, though. Um, if they have removed from my Elish Norn, I think I just concede. Not getting any of my static nets is pretty sad. Okay, so all they did was stop my ETBs. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that was unfortunate. The deck needs more Elish Norns. Um, Ossification, I think, is another card that works nicely. We like ossification. We definitely need more Elish Norns. Um, so wait, is that three minute card? I guess I can see the value of that now. Yeah, I don't think you use bowl. I think you yeet bowl. I think you yeet uve bowl. I think you yeet the justice shear that I added. Um, I think having an additional one of those is fine. I think you want at least three ossifications, honestly. Um, having this to draw is fine. I think having this is also fine. These are reasonable ways of gaining the life and stuff. And then honestly, I think we... I think we, like, do that. Grab another Alishnorn. Union only draws you a single card, so I don't actually like it here. Because I think we want three Elish Norns. We could do something like that, maybe? Yeah. So the Spirit Realm definitely has its uses. Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, we just got Ulfud, Dulfud. God, that ossification. That early ossification really destroyed me. I mean, obviously, it got rid of again, two very good cards. All right, I think we have to end there because I need to consume food. So we're going to go ahead and slash marker. I finally, I finally have a name for this now. Is it where? It's where there's a will. Why do I think it was when? Huh. I'm just calling it will anyway. According to the internet, according to the internet, it's where. I mean, t okay, actually, the way language works is technically fluid. If if we feel like it's it's when. Uh, that is when, if you like, where is this, where, whatever, again, I don't care. I need to consume food because I am not, I am not eating, I've eaten a Pop-Tart, and that's it. <laughs> I am surprised I don't feel terrible. But my body is very used to not eating things. <laughs> so, my brain's just like, in, it, it's not paying attention, like, it's just suppressing the stomach signals. Stomach's like, what are we gonna eat now? Brain's just like, shut up, we're busy. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Um I'm gonna be trickling I'm gonna probably be trickling some of these out on the YouTubes. What the I didn't okay, that was weird. Uh I'm probably gonna be trickling these out on the YouTubes. Um As I said, unfortunately I don't have Wait, no, because the pre orders until the fifth, that's what it is. I assume this doesn't have the pre order in it. No, it doesn't. But the I think the pre-order is until the 5th. When does Wilds Dream come out on Arena? It is September 5th. Okay, that's what I was confused about. The release is tomorrow. Right, that's what they changed. They didn't want to have Arena come out so soon before the physical cards came out uh, for a number of reasons, but one of the big ones being it takes away from the specialness of release date, right? So I think, yes. So release always comes directly after the streamer event. And then, oof. And then like a week after that or something is the uh, the other event. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see y'all. It's Thursday. I'll see y'all Saturday. Saturday is not, Saturday will be more BG3, I think. Because Saturday is the second. Yeah. So it's probably going to be... Did I say the 5th or the 6th? Jesus Christ, Justin. You fucking idiot. Reopen, close tab. The 5th. Okay. So, Saturday and Sunday stream are going to be BG3. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday are going to be Magic. At least for this, this week. I might end up doing more Magic, depending on how much I'm enjoying the set. So yes. Peace. Thanks. See y'all later.